you have probably heard that your heart is a pump. But what happens when a pump has no power to make it run? Let me share a story with you about a patient that had trouble with their pump. The issue was not with the heart itself, but with the blood flow that provides oxygen to the heart. When there is a disruption with the oxygen needed for the heart, it will shut down. And this is what we call heart failure. Hi, my name is Abby. I'm an RN and I love anything cardiac ICU. It is my favorite unit to work in. The heart is just amazing in all that it does, but it is complex, which can make it tricky to learn everything that you need to know, but not impossible. In fact, if you need help, you can find it at nursing.com heart. So let me tell you about this patient of mine. They had just come out of heart surgery for what is referred to as a Ross procedure. Part of this procedure requires the surgeon to reattach the coronary arteries to the aorta because the aortic valve is being replaced. While reattaching them, they were accidentally sutured closed. So post-procedure, the heart itself was fine. I mean, blood flow through it was unobstructed and the valves, including the newly grafted aortic valve all seemed to be working great, but oxygenated blood going to the heart's myocardium to provide its power had been blocked. What do you think would happen to a patient that has blocked coronary arteries? I put a link in the description below for a quick practice quiz that you can take that is related to this topic. See what your current level of understanding is. Go ahead and click below to try it out. I'll wait. Now back to the story. As soon as the patient was rolled to the unit from their post-op, as you can imagine, they immediately went into heart failure. The power to the pump had been shut off. So it stopped working. There was inadequate blood supply to power the heart. They had to be put on an RVAD and an LVAD or right and left ventricular assistive devices to help take place of the failed pump's function of powering circulation. After months of this type of care, we were finally able to get a heart transplant for this patient and they were able to recover. Heart failure is a common disease process that you will encounter while working as an RN. Let me share with you what helped me. I'll show you on nursing.com what helped me to master heart failure. I've included a link to the heart failure lesson in the description below. Make sure to click and take some time to review it on your own. I stressed about my understanding, passing my classes, and ultimately passing the NCLEX. I found success when I started using nursing.com because it helped me find the must-know information with clear and concise lesson videos, and then I would check my knowledge with the lesson quizzes. I used SimCLEX to not only evaluate if I was ready for the NCLEX, but it would also give me personalized suggestions on what I should study to fill in my knowledge gaps. I could focus on those topics further with custom quizzes and use the additional study tools that are adapted to my personal learning style. Hey, I hope this helped you to understand heart failure a bit better. We are rooting for you. Now go out and be your best self today. And as always, happiness.